Hi everyone, my name is Wila and I am a nurse, nursing instructor and a medical student. As women and girls, we all deserve good health across our lifespan. This means that we need to understand health concerns, what causes them and how to prevent or treat them. In this short video, we will cover pelvic organ prolapse. What is it? What causes it? And how we can treat it? So what is pelvic organ prolapse? Pelvic organ prolapse is a condition that affects an estimated 40% of women over the age of 50 in the Western world. Many women don't know they have pelvic organ prolapse because there are no symptoms. Only about 5 to 10% of these women experience symptomatic pelvic organ prolapse in their lifetime. And as the name states, it affects the pelvic system. This is a side view of the female pelvis showing the organs inside and out. Pelvic system is comprised of several important organs such as the uterus, the bladder, the power, and the vagina. It has openings for the passages of menstrual fluid, urine, and fecal matter. The pelvic muscles or the pelvic floor keeps all of these different organs in place. And when pelvic organ prolapse occurs, the bladder, bowel, or the uterus move from their normal position and push into the walls of their vagina. A woman can have more than one type of prolapse at the same time. What are some of the signs and symptoms of pelvic organ prolapse? A woman can have a feeling of something falling or dropping down from her vagina. It can also feel like a bulge in the vagina as well as something coming down. Sometimes the prolapse can be severe and is visible on the outside as shown in the pictures here. She can have a feeling of difficulty when emptying her bladder or that she has to push to empty her bladder. She might also feel that she is unable to completely empty her bladder. There can be the feeling of being unable to completely empty the power or a heavy or dragging feeling in her lower abdomen. A woman may also experience a heavy or dragging feeling in her lower back. And there may be an uncomfortable feeling or pain in the vagina that may feel worse when she stands. So what increases your risk of likelihood of experiencing pelvic organ prolapse? The most common factors that increase the likelihood of pelvic organ prolapse are parity, vaginal delivery of babies, the older a woman gets, and the higher a woman's BMI or the body mass index. Risk increases with the number of children a woman has. If the babies are delivered by vaginal delivery, the risk is higher. Increased age also corresponds with increased risk. The risk of pelvic organ prolapse also increases with higher BMI values. BMI or the body mass index is a ratio of the height of a person to the square of their weight and it is used as a measure of obesity. So how is pelvic organ prolapse treated? There are three main ways. The first is behavioral treatment such as Kegel exercises to strengthen the pelvic floor muscles. This involves following a program of squeezing the pelvic floor muscles repeatedly several times a day to strengthen them. This can be done while lying, sitting or standing. Bessaries, which are small plastic devices, can be inserted into the vagina to provide support to the pelvic floor muscles. And lastly, surgery, which can repair the support of the pelvic organs. And in cases where the damage cannot be repaired, surgery may also involve removal of the tissues or these organs. Early detection of pelvic organ prolapse reduces the chance you need surgery. And this is why it is important to find out if you have pelvic organ prolapse early so you can receive the appropriate treatment. 
Remember, you can have all, some, or none of the symptoms of pelvic organ prolapse. You can also have one or more forms of pelvic organ prolapse at the same time. And to learn more about pelvic organ prolapse, you can visit the following links. This educational video was kindly sponsored by the Clopo Challenge Research Funding from Glasgow Caledonian University, UK.